And now we are going to talk about the file system tab. It has been remade entirely in Godot 3.1 and I'm going to expand it a bit so that we have more space to work with. So you are greeted with a tree-based view. You can click on the arrow next to the folders to expand them or contract them, and any branch in the tree. You can notice that now you get icons, thumbnails for image files, even in the tree view, which is quite convenient. Overall, you'll notice if you are coming from Godot 3.0 that it is fairly intuitive. You can right click on any folder or any place to add it to the favorites. Then once you do so, it will appear under the favorites that you can now fold like any folder. So you can then jump to the animations folder anytime, even if it's folded, it will unfold the branches leading down to that folder. But that is not all. If you go to the top right of the file system tab, you have a button here that you can use to split the view. So click on it and you will get a dual file explorer. So once you click on a folder in the tree base view, you will get a bird's eye view on that folder. You can then search files from there. If I were to go to my assets folder, could look for Godet. Anywhere down that tree, down that selected folder. You can also click the icon to the top right of that second section to toggle between a list-based view, where you can double click on folders to enter them and double click the two dots folder to go back up one level, or the quad view to get a more visual representation of your sprites, of your assets, you will get large thumbnails with the name this way. Now you can use the two buttons at the top here to navigate back and forth in the history of your uh, folder explorations. You can also copy the path from up there. And overall, it's just a fairly intuitive and well-designed file explorer that you get there. I should mention some improvements to the right-click context menu. You now have a few options to create new scripts, resources, straight in the file manager here, in the file system tab. Besides that, you will find the options you could find before, the ability to edit the dependencies for a resource or a scene, or to view the scenes that own that resource. But that's it for the new file system tab. In the next video, we will keep looking a bit at the UI with the improvements brought to the 2D and 3D viewports. See you then.